happened in Australia. The Kiwis put the kibosh on it. Verboten in Germany. What is it that the rest of the world doesn't want you to see? Why, it's manhunt, of course. No, not the online dating service for consenting gentlemen. I made that mistake too, and believe me, was I embarrassed. This is the controversial video game in which you play a happy-go-lucky convict who's forced to participate in the creation of snuff films. Developed by Rockstar Games, Manhunt is a run-of-the-mill stealth game with a twist. Like a 16-year-old at Hot Topic, it's dark and violent and desperate for attention. Come on, you bunch of f***ing pansies! Most infamously, Manhunt was linked to the murder of a 14-year-old boy in the UK. Although initial media speculation focused on the killer being influenced by the game, it was later revealed that it was the victim who owned a copy, and the murderer had never even played it. As entertainment, it hardly lives up to the hype that surrounded it. The plot is your standard fare. You play a prisoner broken out of jail by a director with a taste for the macabre who forces you to be the star of his latest movie. All you have to do is sneak around Carcer City at night and kill hundreds of kooky gang members. Wait a sec. Let's try to defuse the tension here. A little Tchaikovsky should do it. <gasps> After even a short time playing, though, the deaths lose their shock value, and the initial sense of exhilaration you got from watching those first few murders is long gone. In the end, Manhunt's biggest crime isn't that it inspired a wave of copycat killers across the world, but that it failed to deliver the goods we all wanted, an exciting, mature game that does more than titillate without satisfying. It's what you used to paint it for. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.